This is not a mukbang video. Just gross. I think we'll definitely pass on those. First cast too, nothing wrong with that. Today's goal is a foraging feast. I'm going to do what I can to get an entire meal out of the forest and out of the river. There's a few coho salmon running right now. Not too many, but the ones that are in are super fresh, super silver, very tasty. Yellowfoot chanterelles, another one that is on the menu. Puffballs, small little puffballs, not the gigantic ones. Golden chanterelles. Now we'll be lucky to find some, it's pretty late in the season, but I do have hope that we can find at least a couple of them. Got our fish. First cast too, nothing wrong with that. We already bled him out, just cut the gills there. Time to find some mushrooms. The end of September. And there are still a few wild mushrooms to harvest, one of which being the yellowfoot or winter or funnel chanterelle. Golden chanterelles are still sporadically popping up in a few places. They're not as dense as they were a couple weeks ago, but this will be part of our meal tonight go with fresh Lake Superior coho salmon. This time of year, this is what a lot of the chanterelles you're going to find are going to look like rotten, slug eaten, just gross. I think we'll definitely pass on those and hopefully we find some fresher ones. Still a few chanterelles to be found out here. This one's a little bit slug eaten but looks good to me.
Another little treat of fall puffballs. We will definitely add some of those guys into tonight's feast. Probably find a bunch more of these. We're back on the Wilderstead. This is our foraged feast for this evening. Nice pile of yellowfoot chanterelles, a few common puffballs, and a couple of golden chanterelles, which we were lucky to find. Not many of those left to harvest left right now. Coho salmon out of Lake Superior. Beautiful orange flesh. Nice and fresh. It was a female fish. The roe we'll end up using for bait later on. Great bait. The head. Of course, will not go to waste. That goes to Caddis. Do you want this, Caddis? You want that? So the only thing left that I'm going to do is brine this fish for a couple hours in a sugar and salt water brine. Might put a little bit of garlic powder and ginger in there as well. Okay, so the fish is out of the brine. I've had it out for about 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour, just letting it air dry out here in the wind. It was a little sunny, so it was sitting in the sun. Got my mushrooms all ready to go. Got another little treat here too. Some fiddleheads that we foraged in the spring. We have quite a bit of these in the freezer, so we might as well use them. I'm gonna put them in right away, because these are gonna have to boil for a while. With the fish. Just gonna add in a little bit of this spice mix. It's about 50% maple sugar and 50% seasoning salt. Put the fish <coughs> into my trusty little fish basket here. Probably gonna lose a bunch of this seasoning. That's okay, because we'll be doing the inside, too. Get a bunch in here. And a bunch out here. Close up the fish basket. And we're going to set them on the fire. Just let them sit there and smoke. While the fish is cooking, we'll enjoy some of our blueberry, wild blueberry wine that we made. Mm -hmm. I'm cooking with maple today uh, because the fish will definitely be smoked. There'll be a smoky flavor to it. I want that nice, nice maple flavor in there. And the, the maple is actually from our property. So I guess you could say that it as well is foraged. Fiddleheads are up to a boil. Fish is looking awesome. It's time to get the mushrooms on. I'm going to add a little bit of lard from the pig that we just butchered with some friends of ours. Time to get those mushrooms cooking.
fish is looking perfect. Nice crispy skin on it. The mushrooms. Definitely looking about ready. Just gonna move these off to the side here. Toss our fiddleheads in. Fiddleheads, the shrooms are ready. And so is the fish. So it's time to get him out of his basket. Oh, it smells amazing. Let's peel that right off. So just flake right off with the skeleton. We'll leave a little bit of skin on there because sometimes the skin is pretty tasty. side and just grab the spine and just slowly remove it from the fish. Only thing left to do is to eat it. This is not a mukbang video so we won't put you through watching us eat the fish. Mm. Yummy.